discussion posts, um, a lot of you guys are using them in your classroom. Um, and if you're not, it might be a refresher that that's one of the options that you do have as a way of collecting information from kids. Um, I know that <clears throat> I talk too much, and maybe Mr. Thomas is more reserved, so that might be a great platform for him to get all of his ideas across to you. Because um, he's a little bit more quiet and reserved. Um, also, it's a great way of tracking who you heard from. Um, so with discussion posts, there's always a record there of who um, has commented, who hasn't. If you need more from somebody, you can send them a message, as you know. Um, and kids can comment on other people's posts um, as well, which you all know. So we're going to be talking about the discussion app within Schoology here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and different ways to use it. So we bring in some ideas. Um, what were some of the things that you guys learned last semester? What did you guys put? How to make a ballot. Yeah, because you use that a lot in your clubs. Yeah. So Google Forms. Awesome. What else? I see them. What? All of Schoology. Yeah, we are first time Schoology users and then think of all the stuff that you can do or you know is out there on Schoology um, and we're just ready to harness it all. Um, very exciting. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things is Googly things and the Schoology platform for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so it's been a while since we've seen you um, and some of our um, PLC um, notes that we heard from you that last week. Remember, we talked a lot about where did we come from, how did it go, where should we be going, how are we going to set up next year. Um, we heard you, and we heard what your administrators had to say, and so we are taking up um, PLC, and it's to better serve your needs and to meet our school goals. Um, so we wanted to talk about first our high school goals and then our technology goals with you guys. Remind you, I know we put it on the agenda every time, but probably like me, you skip over that section to see what you're doing today, which I know I do um, a lot of the time. But um, our high school goal is to focus on the lesson plan cycle, continue to grow in our best practices, infuse technology into our learning, and try tech out in our rooms. So that's kind of like your administrator's goals for your school. Like what are we going to focus on for this next semester? Um, and then our continual technology goals, which this has been up here all year, is implementing Schoology effectively in your classrooms for communication. Use it as a place to post materials and assignments. So really getting out there with the mamas and the papas and the students, having a platform for everybody to know where the information for your class is. Um, in Pirate, the A um, is going to be the next letter you guys are going to be discussing this six weeks. And it lines up perfectly with our PLC, which is Ask and Analyze. So um, that kind of brings us into our new PLC flow. And our first topic, we're going to start it next week, but it's all about um, questioning and discussion. Um, so we're hitting our school goals right along with that. Okay. All right. Um, PLC flow. Um, so we're changing it up. First semester, we kind of brought you something, a snippet of something new each PLC. So you would have ideas of things you could do. And then those of you who wanted to do um, more with that, you made appointments with us, we came to you, um, and you kind of had nine really great tools in your tool belt. Some of you guys mastered them, some of you never thought of them again. It was just kind of throwing ideas out there of ways to get kids to open that Chromebook. Um, now, we're kind of going to the more implementation phase. Now that we know that if you push all the buttons, nothing will break, and if you go online, you know, you, you can crash the Wi-Fi, but we fixed it and now it's good, 
right? So uh, we have all of our fears kind of away, and we're ready to uh, really see how we can use this professional learning time to harness our technology in our classroom. So we're on a three-part cycle. So every fourth time we meet, we start over. So we're going to be talking about the same goals, the same tools, and then you're going to get time to actually make that happen in three sessions worth, okay? And that starts next Tuesday. Um, so um, our main thing about Treasure, or the main things about PLC Flow is everything's going to be modeled in the lesson plan cycle, which is everybody, you know, you do that, you engage the kids when they come in, kind of a little bit of, um, we call it like focus lesson where the teacher might be giving instructions. This is where you're giving out information. Maybe you're direct teaching at this time. Kids are seeking information at this time. And then um, it's the activity part where kids are going out. They're doing the work. They're doing the research. They're practicing those problems. Maybe they're sharing it with each other. The collaboration happens here. And then how are you wrapping up each lesson for the day? So Willie and I are going to be teaching that way. Um, our PLCs will run that way. Um, and then the first PLC, um, so section one, which will start next Tuesday, we are going to give you a best practice strategy. So we're just pulling these from um, like different documents like Lead Forward and different people who are way smarter than us that says these are great practices. We're getting these great practices ideas from information from administrators and district goals like, hey, we're going to the classroom, we need to see higher level questioning. So that was kind of our first thing. And so our next one is going to be all about higher level questioning. We're going to just talk about that teaching strategy, give you guys questions and question stems and remind you how that goes or talk about what you're already doing that's doing great that other people can steal from you and start doing that as well. Um, and um, then we're going to talk about how can you infuse the Chromebook and things we're already getting good at like Schoology with question stems and question strategies and higher level questioning. So it's something you're already doing and need to be doing, and then how can you tweak it where you can make it happen with technology, okay? Um, so we're gonna be talking that, about that the first day. The second session, you're already knowing what we're talking about, question stems. So you're gonna come and you're going to um, be thinking about in that week that we're apart, when and where would be a great place for me to insert this in upcoming lessons of mine. We're going we're gonna to have true PLC where everybody's talking about how they're doing it and, and giving great ideas and you're going to share amongst science. Okay. Um, and then that third week, um, you're going to actually bring materials to this room. You're going to not be as a whole group. We'll have the room set up different. You're going to be with your counterpart. So if you teach... Um, Physics, you'll be with the other physics person, okay? If you teach freshmen, you'll be paired off with the other freshman um, science teacher, so on and so forth. You guys will be in a corner of the room. You're actually creating something. So um, when you leave, you'll have 45 minutes of something you can create with the assistance of Mr. Thomas and I and the other people in your room. Um, and then you have something you can take that day and then implement in your class sometime this semester. So it's not something you need to turn around and use in your class the next day. It might be something that you're looking at, hey, I think that would be great in two weeks from now. I think that would be great in six weeks. Whatever it is, you have a product you can use and try in your classroom. And then Willie and I would love it if you could tell us, hey, I'm gonna do this then. Um, I'm nervous. Could you come and help me or be there for me? Totally. Or if you know you're going to rock it or it's something you're already really doing well, hey, stop by and let me show you how great I am. Okay. Um, so uh, we would love to see that happen. And remember, we are there to help you if you are nervous trying some of this stuff. Um, if you're one of those GT kids and you're like, 
higher level questioning using the, the Chromebook, I got this. Um, hopefully, Willie and I will be able to have for you new tools that maybe you haven't heard of um, technology-wise, different applications or different websites that you can go to and try something that you haven't tried. So hopefully we're, we're differentiating and we're meeting everybody's needs somewhere. So you'd be using that time um, to be going further or deeper or better. Or maybe you're creating two lessons versus one with your partner or something. Wherever, whatever fits your needs best. How does that sound? Does that sound doable? Does that make um, trying technology in your classroom a little less scary because you know you're going to have time to create a product? Yes. Okay. Good. So hopefully that will work. And then if this is a total flop, let us know because, you know, we're always a work in progress and working to serve you. Um, but based on kind of what everybody said, this seemed um, like something really great that could help, help y'all. So we'll try it for a little bit. And um, you know us, we look, we'll probably send out a form or a survey and see how you like it. Sure. Uh, and you can get back to us. Feedback, feedback. So continue on, you know, like you don't know if you noticed, uh, with the whole lesson cycle and things. I mean, this is, I mean, this is what our PLC is right now. I mean, you've done a hook. Uh, we're doing our focus lesson right now. And then in a minute, we're going to do a little activity. I think you're all going to love, and then we're going to close it out. All right? So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Treasure Tuesdays. So, who's heard of it? Yay! Who saw the poster in the lounge that I hung on top of another poster? <laughs> All right, good stuff. I know everybody's excited, right? Arr. Get some, 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 some booty. I mean, not booty. Uh, <laughs> treasures, right? Treasures. 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 You're not going to be here. You're over us. You're from us every Tuesday, and then you sit in the hallway and stuff like that. You're going to actually hear from your peers that you work with every single day. All right? And then a lot of the things that you're going to be using tools in your classroom that you want to use, you're actually going to get that from this as well. Uh, this is strictly non okay, middle. Okay? It's voluntary, but it's a good voluntary. Because A, you get a lot of awesome, great tech tools to be able to go back and use in the classroom. Mm -hmm. A lot of awesome, great uh, teaching strategies to use in your classroom as well. And comp days for those of you who would love to not be here when nobody else is here. Okay? All right. So uh, that's going to be some awesome, awesome opportunities to get better. Uh, this is going to be mostly every Tuesday. When I say mostly, I mean it's actually going to be every Tuesday except for like one or two uh, Tuesdays. And the session's going to be from 3.45 to 4.45, all right? Uh, you got to attend at least six or more to get that comp day. And we're going to go up to, the first one is January 26th, all the way into May. We're doing the May. So you'll have an opportunity every Tuesday to come to do that. And then, after you're done with those, and you want to get a little, <coughs> sorry, a little more, get, dig a little deeper, get a little further on that, give us a shout. Give those teachers a shout that actually put those trainings on as well, and they'll be happy, you know, to kind of you know take you off a lot further with that. Okay, so Treasure Tuesday. So all the misconceptions out there, because I heard a whole bunch of them oh, yeah. right, over the last couple of weeks. All right, I know you know now you're getting clarification. It's so it's going to be awesome. Is it mandatory? Quick check. Now, do you get a comp day if you go to six or more? Yes. Is it taught by Willie and Jackie? Who's it taught by? Yeah, it's taught by people sitting right here. So okay. what we're going to do now, I know it says session clarification. Uh, I should have put that one first. So we're going to go to Edge for you. We're going to show you exactly where to find these sessions and how to sign up, which is going to be great practice for the summer as well. We got to do all the bloodborne pathogens and the sexual harassment because I probably shouldn't have said to go get some booty while we were in here earlier. So, <laughs> yeah. so you can just sign up for that we'll session right that now. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Let me jump to yeah. All right, so everybody's heading off the edge of four. How do you so, get there? It's on the um, school district web page. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I have it. Okay. Just like, we got a new key, but he's doing just great.
So let's take a look at how you log in and register for sessions here for our upcoming Treasure Tuesdays for spring 2016. All Treasure Tuesday registration will happen in Eduphoria. So go ahead and I'm going to log into Eduphoria. So once I get logged in here, you'll see all your apps that you have available to you in Eduphoria. Just like we do during the summertime, Workshop is where we're going to actually register for our online courses or uh, like the Bloodborne Pathogens and, and different things like that um, that we have for the district. So by clicking on Workshop, that's going to take me to my Workshop tab right here. You're not going to have the Manage uh, and Reports right here. But you'll see Course Registration, and then you'll see My Portfolio. Right underneath View Course by Date, you will then navigate to the Up and Coming Courses. So by clicking on Up and Coming Courses, you will see all the different sessions that are offered for Treasure Tuesdays. If you scroll down through here, you'll see all the different things that are going on. They also have dates and times next to them. Now, you'll notice that out beside each session, there are grades. And what these grades represent are the different grades that the session targets. For example, audio video homework session uh, submission via Schoology targets grades 6 through 12. So if you're a 6 through 12 teacher, you're definitely either, you know, going to want to go see that. But if you already have that down, you can also go to the one that's offered that same exact day, parlay through Google Hangout, ARG, mystery book talks, K through 12. Uh, so once again, these are going to be sessions that are targeted towards grade specific as well. Uh, now, like I said, each session will be, uh, there will be two sessions per Tuesday. As you can see here, there's, there's two on the 26th, and you can choose which one you want to attend. And now to sign up and register for a session, all you do is click on that session. So once you click inside of the session, you will see a slew of information here that will tell you exactly what the session is about, the date and times that the session is. So this will be January 26th from 3.45 to 4.45 p.m. And the Junior High Professional Development Center. Now, this Junior High Professional Development Center uh, will be located on the gym side of the junior high. So if you know where that back parking lot is, that's where that's going to be at. Other sessions that are not in the Junior High Professional Professional Development Center will also be located in the library. And we all know where that is as well. Uh, if you do not, there will be people posted to help you navigate to the session that you want to uh, navigate to. Uh, down here, it will tell you how many CPE hours you, uh, credits you will receive. And you will also have a survey that is required at the end of every session to receive credit. To register, I just go up here to this green button here and I click register. It will ask me, do I want to register for this course? I will tell it yes. Now, once I do this, it will send me an email saying that I have just been enrolled inside of this course. Now, I can also unenroll myself from this course. So say I picked it, I just can't make it, uh, you know, or I found something that I, you know, something else, I want to maybe go to the other one. So then I'll come over here and I will click the unregister button. So when I click the unregister button, once again, it will ask me, am I sure? And I say, okay. Now it tells me I have been unenrolled. So now I am unenrolled from that course. Now, as you saw, there will be two courses, two sessions going on. Each session, though, will be recorded. Now, Here's the deal, you can only get uh, credit for the one session that you actually attend. But we will make recordings available for you to view, so that way you can still get something out of the other sessions as well. So once again, that's Eduphoria, Workshop, Workshop tab, Up and Coming Courses. And then you will see the courses that are available for you. As you can see, we have courses going from January 26th, starting next week, all the way through May 24th. If you have any questions on how to register for these courses, please let myself know, uh, Willie Thomas, or your, or your uh, local 
instructional specialist or instructional tech specialist on the campus or contact uh, Colette Pleasure as well. She will be able to help you as well. Uh, and this is going to be, uh, once again, starting January 26th, next week. And so that is how you will be registering for courses. We hope to see you there. I'll tell you what I'm anxious about. I'm glad you asked. Uh, the small group, that's, that's that right there. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, how to make that work. And there's a couple of small group sessions in there as well. I think there's four different ones. Mm -hmm. There's a... Uh, so since you brought that one up, is, yes. that, is that being able to break down within a class and teach you different? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, that is what that is. And Mr. Pitts <coughs> will be one of your presenters here from the high school, and then we'll have two uh, elementary and uh, primary teachers teaching the other ones as well. <coughs> Three-part session as well. So the elementary teachers who are teaching it, we have to harness our people who do group work all the time. And that happens a lot with the littler folks. Um, and they're breaking it down into two separate sections for you. So what is like the classroom management piece? How do I monitor groups everywhere and be just one teacher? So that's a whole session. And then the other session is how do I prepare for small groups? Um, what documentations, what am I going to need to get ready prior to saying I'm going to do the small group? So it's two different components of that. And then um, Coach Hurst and Coach Pitts, theirs is more a comprehensive way of do, how they do it in their secondary classes here with rotations and what do you, what can you have at each station um, just to make things a different way of like disseminating information to kids and how they can get it where it's not just sit and get. All right, so once again, to register for a course at Edgeforia, where do we go? Workshops. And as I get to my workshop, then when I click over here on the left, up and or course registration. Yeah, and then up and coming courses. Now, say when I do register for a workshop or for a course, to see the ones that I've registered for, all I have to do is go to my portfolio. When I go to my portfolio, it will show me. I got people signing up for courses. Okay, well, my portfolio button's not working right now. But it would show me the courses that I'm registered for. Yeah. Does it also send you an email? Yeah. So it'll pull up your portfolio and it'll send you an email. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You don't get it, but you get great knowledge, right? So if there's if there um, is something that you're like, oh my gosh, I just want to do Twitter, and then I'm going to take a course at Region 12 over the summer because I already know I'm going to take that because it's applicable to me. Do that. All right. Well, bring us towards the end here. So what we want to do, we want to get a little feedback from you. Okay, we'll wrap up. So if you'll go back to our agenda here. All right, there was a doc. And there is a link down there at the bottom. And we're going to ask you about what do you think was the most important point or central concept in today's presentation. This is your exit ticket. Okay, and today we're using exit ticket uh, Go Forms, uh, Go Forms, sorry, uh, Google Form, brought to you by the makers of Google and Alphabet. Okay, and so if you will click on that link and fill that out, and that will end today's PLC. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to email us, catch us, call, give us a shout, and we'll be happy to elaborate on anything else that we talked about today.